Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to a Unity tutorial today and today we're going to be looking at using Cinemachine to create a follow camera to follow a character, a player or in my case something from my Neon Sphere pack which was my little ball creation and I've got this up on my Patreon if you want to get access to the scripts the project and all the little artistic assets that you can see here. Be sure to give a like on this video if you like it because it would really really help me out. So without further ado, we'll get straight in. Now when you're in Unity, in my example here, you need to make sure that you've got a player character, whether that's a 3D character, third person character, just something like this which we can control. And you need a camera, main camera, just so that we can set something when we use Cinemachine. And if Cinemachine isn't already imported, you can see because you would have a Cinemachine tab at the top here. But if not, we can go to Window, Package Manager. Once Package Manager loads, and we want to be into the Unity registry and you want to type in S-I-N-E for Cine and you'll see Cine Machine in my version here is 2.3.4 and you can just click to install. Once that's installed, like I said, you get the Cine Machine tab at the top. You can click that and you've got a bunch of options. But what we're concerned about is creating the virtual camera, which is something that will follow around our particular object or player. So we can click to create a virtual camera and you can see that it adds CM virtual cam and you can see that on our camera that we already had in our scene it's now got a cinema machine brain on it so what you can see you can leave our camera here and we can have as many virtual cameras doing different things as possible and you can see that when we actually change the position of our virtual camera it actually changes the position in the game view so we can see what's actually going on if we just look at where the camera is now you can see it's facing an opposite direction now how do we make it look at our player that we want and we've got a bunch of settings we control what the body where we will aim and the different settings that we have we want to make sure that the body tap is on transposer which will actually allow it to do an algorithm which uses the virtual camera to follow in a fixed offset between the target that we want to look at so we've got two options at the top to follow and look at so if we just grab my player or whatever object you might have so we want to follow my player which you can see now in the game view it's looking at that object and we can also say that we want to look at that object and now we get the safe frames to show that where we're looking and what we're currently doing and now if we give this scene a quick test you can see that when we press play we will track the ball that we've currently got but we might get some weird issues <laughs> that are currently going on and we may need to adjust the position of our camera so from here what we can do is we can use the follow offset and we can just scrub that up and we maybe want to do a little bit of an aerial view of our object and you can see from the binding mode that it says it's locked to the target in world up and this means that it will shift the camera depending on where we move if we do to a world space now we press play it will not actually flip the camera when we move so we actually get that nice rotation and that nice follow without it doing some weird acrobatics. And you can see that this is pretty much the concept of just being able to follow our character around. Say we want to control and make some interesting little concepts throughout it. While you're in play mode, if you tick the save during play mode, you can adjust settings on the fly as you're playing around. So we could actually change the, the tracked offset, which we could say adjust the Y value. And then when we move, you can see that the offset is when we move, we get sort of a shaky cam, little bit of a look, and we can do it on the X. And we move if you wanted a sort of weird physics object kind of game and you wanted to wiggle the camera, maybe it would make people a little bit nauseous. But you can adjust lots of settings like the look ahead time, which will set the camera ahead of the object when you're running, if you're say running after an object or something like that. If you need to see what any of these variables and components mean, then if you just throw into Google the settings for virtual camera properties, then you can see all the properties in the Unity scripting for the body properties, the aim, what all the little options do, what the different types do, and then you can get an easier idea of how you can adjust the settings according to what you want to achieve in your game. So I will put this project up on my Patreon just so everybody can have a look. I've also got the Neon Sphere on there so you can take a look at that and let me know what you think. So be sure to come and check out the Patreon to get scripts, projects and stuff you can't find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and check out my great assets on the Unity Store. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.